Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another week of lunches. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back to share another What Jake Takes to Lunch video. I know this is probably so simplistic to what you guys are used to seeing, but we are on a two hour delay today due to Hurricane Florence. So Jake is just eating his breakfast and lunch is on in a couple of hours. So I don't really know how hungry he's going to be, but these are actually peanut butter and jelly sandwiches that I made in case the power went out. Um, but the power never went out. So we have a bunch of sandwiches. So I figured why not let them go to waste. And this is in one of those new containers I got from Grove. They are really awesome. They seal really well. So well, I hope he doesn't struggle getting the container open. Uh, then he's taking, of course, Annie's fruit snacks and a bag of barbecue chips and just an orange here in case he wants that uh, with his breakfast. So that is it, guys. This is it for his lunch today. And we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. Just getting ready to pack up Jake's lunch and send him out the door. So I pretty much have something planned each day this week for dinner that I can use something to carry over for Jake's lunches. I did pick up a few frozen meals in my grocery haul yesterday, but for the most part, I really didn't have a whole lot for his lunch. So I intend on using things from our dinners to correspond with his, with his lunch the next day. So yesterday for dinner we had BLTs and I put some bacon aside and then I bought turkey when I was at the grocery store. So here Jacob has a turkey BLT. This is actually one of those onion rolls that we normally use for the Arby's roast beef sandwiches. It's the only like kind of roll diesel roll that we had in the freezer so I just toasted this up a little bit and he has lettuce and I put the tomato on the inside so that it doesn't get his bread soggy and he has turkey and bacon and cheese and mayo so he's excited about that I have some ranch dressing here with some cut up washed and dried green beans and then I have these are the sweet barbecue pop chips from Brandless he actually just told me this morning he likes this better than the sour cream and onion ones, which surprises me, but he's been kind of dabbling in the barbecue flavor lately. And then he did ask for Nutty Buddy bars when we went to the grocery store yesterday. So I put one of those in here before daddy eats them all and he doesn't get any. So that is it guys. I'm gonna pack up his lunch box. This is what Jake is taking for lunch today. Okay guys, good morning. So I'm just getting ready to pack up Jake's lunch box. And today I packed Jake a chicken Caesar salad. Earlier in the week we had a big roasted chicken, but Jake's not really one for roasted chicken plain just like that. But he would eat it in a wrap or on a salad or something like that. And the last time I made the chicken Caesar wrap, he really liked it. But I have an intention for a different kind of wrap later on in the week. So this time I just packed him a salad. Uh, I didn't want the croutons to get soggy or the dressing to make the lettuce soggy. So I put the dressing and the croutons on the side. And then over here is the Parmesan cheese, the lettuce, and the chicken. Um, and then I put these back in just because these are from yesterday and he didn't eat them. With the salad, he may not be interested anyways. But I hope he didn't lose interest in these because he used to like eat these by the bucket full. So I'm surprised these even came home um, and didn't get eaten so we'll see hopefully he's not out of that phase because obviously fresh green beans uh, is healthier than some of the other stuff so I wish he would eat that um, I did pack him a small little thing of pretzels for crunch um, of course a little Annie's fruit snack and his sweet treat of the day is those little Debbie fall party cakes um, and that's it for his lunch and I did just want did just want to show this really quick a bunch of you guys have asked me especially with high schoolers what kind of lunch bag that Jake has just because they're unsure of what to send their high schooler with and this was very difficult for me to find something that I thought would be age appropriate for Jake even this is like borderline almost too old if that makes any sense but Jake's favorite show is Friends I know that some of the innuendo could be a little bit on the mature side, but I figured ordering a friends related lunchbox would be on the safer side for his age. So it's kind of neoprene, like 
wipeable soft material and it's not insulated that's the only thing I don't like but this thing's pretty big and the front just has like all different little things that have reference to friends so if I can remember where I got it I'll try and link it um, below I ordered it from some I googled like friends lunch pails and this came up at a website and so I ordered it so I'll try and find where I found it and link it below in case you guys want to purchase it for your kid or for yourself if you're a friends lover and I'm gonna pack Jake's lunch box and he's out the door Good morning, you guys. So I'm just getting ready to pack up Jake's lunchbox and send him out the door. So as you can see, the steam pouring up over this. I literally just took this out of the pan like one minute ago. Um, and this is the Nor pasta sides and the cheddar broccoli. Jake picked this out and wanted to try this for a lunch. So I'm going to cover this up for him so it stays good and hot. And hopefully it'll stay warm for him until school. But again, I've mentioned before, he has a microwave if he wants to heat that up. I have a ranch cup here with some cut up of broccoli for him. These are the barbecue pop chips from Brandless. Of course, an Annie's fruit snack. And then these are the peanut butter covered chocolate cookies that I got from Walmart. I still haven't tried them, but Jake loves anything peanut butter and chocolate, so I think he'll really like that. He's got a spoon. I'm gonna throw a napkin in here, and he's got his water bottle, and that's it. This is what Jake is taking for lunch today. Okay guys, good morning. You might hear the kids in the background because I am dropping Jake's lunch off late. I wasn't feeling well this morning, so he didn't know I already had his lunch packed in the refrigerator. I told him I did, but that just blew right past him because he knows I usually pack in the morning. And so he did not take his lunch box, so I'm just showing you this now, and I'm gonna go run his lunch up to him before he has to eat. So last night when I did some meal prep, I already packed his lunch for him. Uh, I was shredding some fresh block cheese and I was making tacos and I ground some extra taco meat and I put the cheese and the taco meat already in a bag and I just laid it here on top of the nacho chips and I'm going to put the cover back on top as I've mentioned many times Jake has a microwave so he'll just heat these up fresh when he's ready to eat and then in the little Tupperware up here, I diced him up some tomatoes and put some sour cream here because that's how he likes to eat his nachos. And being that today is Wednesday and he has gaming club, um, I packed just a few extra snacks. This is a lot for Jake. Like, normally I really wouldn't do too much after that because he would just spend most of his lunch period heating and eating the nachos. But being that he has gaming club after school and he doesn't get home for extra time, I did pack him some of those Duke sausages for some extra protein and then he has a little nutty buddy bar here. He actually texted me from school and said, if you're bringing up my lunch, please put a nutty buddy bar in there because that's what I want for my snack. So I grabbed that for him and then of course uh, fruit snacks. So this is what I'm gonna go run up to Jake to school for him to have for lunch today. Okay guys, good morning. So I'm just getting ready to pack up Jake's lunch and today he is taking a sandwich. I'm actually loving these new containers from Grove. This is the Preserve brand, but they seal really well, like almost too well that you can't even get it open like that well. So I really like them. And he is taking bologna and cheese and mayo on that Sara Lee butter bread that I get from the Dollar Tree. He has a Snapple half and half here. This is the big case I got from BJ's. Uh, I did some meal prep yesterday and I cut up some watermelon. So I have some watermelon here and he has a fork. These are also the silverware I got from Grove, which are turning out uh, to be working really well. Um, these are the last of the barbecue chips from Brandless. Um, he really likes those. I already have those in my cart to order for him again. These are the fall party cakes, so that is his sweet treat along with his standard Annie's gummies. So he has this and his two bottles of water, and he is heading out the door. This is what Jake is taking for lunch today. Good morning, you guys. So I'm just getting ready to pack up Jake's lunch, and today he's taking a spicy bacon club sandwich. So I meal prep some bacon, and I put some bacon on there for him, and some cheese and mayo, and I'm going to wrap it up in this foil so it stays warm. 
For his little sweet treat, he's taking the black and white drizzled popcorn by Popcorn Indiana. I'm hoping he really likes that because I've been trying to get that on the pickup for him for a while. Um, I cut up some cucumber for him right here with his ranch packet and his Annie's fruit snacks. That is it. This is going to be more than enough for him for the day. He's got his bottles of water and he's getting ready to go out the door. Okay guys, good morning. So just getting ready to send Jake out the door. So I just wanted to share with you what he's taking for lunch today. So today I just made kind of like a bento box style lunch for him. So in this little silicone liner is some of those golden round crackers, which are like the Ritz crackers from Trader Joe's. And then I rolled up some salami from Trader Joe's and some bologna. Jake doesn't like cold cheese like that, so he'll just eat the meats with the crackers. And then, of course, I have his fruit snacks here. I have a honey crisp apple. These are like so delicious. These fresh ones that we just got, they're really, really good. So I think Jake will really like that apple. Um, these are some of the ranch veggie straws that we got from Walmart. And then these are just those chocolatey cats. They're like chocolate graham crackers, but they're really, really good. And these are the ones I got from Trader Joe's as well. So he pretty much has a almost Trader Joe's derived lunch, but that's it. That's what Jake is taking for lunch today. Good morning, you guys. Just getting ready to pack up Jake's lunch, and this is what he's taking today. So this is actually one of those Michelina meals in the stroganoff. He hasn't taken one of these pretty much. I think he's only taken one of these meals all year long. We've been trying to do different things as opposed to resorting to these meals, but this is the flavor I found that he has not ever tried or that we've ever really been able to find but he loves stroganoff so I have that for him and his fork and then this is one of those Tupperwares I'm absolutely loving these these are the ones I got from Grove and I'm putting his snacks in here because he keeps telling me that these things are getting crushed and the second they get crushed he won't eat them so I have his little fall party cakes in here I have some of his little Duke's sausages and then this is the rest of the pickle um, half popped kernels from Brandless. We're like low on Brandless, Jeff. It is time for an order. I have a cart and I've been strolling on chipping. Uh, I picked these up for Jake last night. He wanted these for his lunchbox, a lemon brisk and a honey crisp apple. It's the only kind of apple he will eat. All right, guys, that's it. That's what Jake is taking for lunch today. Okay, you guys, so on this given day, you get nothing but a picture and a voiceover. Why? Because this was the very first day all year that we missed the bus and were late to school. So I had no time to film what he was taking for lunch, nor did I have time to pack anything elaborate. So Jake just took a can of one of those organic SpaghettiOs. He's really been enjoying them, and they work really well for mornings like this when we're running late. He also took a honey crisp apple those are those pepperoni sticks that we got from Trader Joe's I won't be purchasing them for Jake again because he's not a huge fan of course he's taking some Annie's fruit snacks and a couple of Oreo cookies and that is it that's what Jake took for lunch today okay you guys so it is Friday which means it's the last clip in this what's for lunch video and we are just taking it easy today I did the easy route and I made Jake one of those red baron single pizzas and I'm gonna wrap it up here in foil so I can keep it warm for him he's taking one of those brisk iced tea bottles I packed him some popcorn here I did pack him a cucumber but I didn't cut it he said when I cut it, it gets soggy for him. So I'm gonna leave it whole. I'm just packing him with a knife in case he wants to cut it. And one of those ranch packets. And we're out of gummies, you guys. What? I need to go to BJ's, right? Oh my goodness. So he is taking some Oreo cookies as his sweet treat. And that is it. Jake is off to school. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I post a what's for lunch video at least once a month here on the channel and for everybody else guys I love you so much and I'll see you in the next video bye